My name is Chris Peltz, and I am the most interesting griller in the world, and this is Blind Grilling. Today on Blind Grilling, we're going to be talking about thermometers, specifically accessible thermometers, talking thermometers, or thermometers that you can connect to another device that allow you to use a screen reader to access those thermometers. When it comes to cooking, one of the biggest advantages that you can have is being able to monitor and keep track of not only your cooking temp, but also your food temp, your meat temp. And so what I've got here are several thermometers, and I want to show you a couple of these. And we're gonna start with some instant read thermometers. First of all, I have these two instant read thermometers. One I think is probably familiar to many in the blind community. Um, this uh, Ryzen, it is a folding thermometer. You open it up and it turns on. It's very simple to use. It does have a power button. Um, it's got a, whether or not you want Celsius or Fahrenheit. Uh, it's got a light button for the, the backlight. Uh, but also, it's got a button for saying the temperature. 71.4 degrees. So, 71.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So, it, it speaks. So, you stick this in your meat uh, at any point in time during your cook. You hit the button, and it tells you what your temp is. And these are referred to as instant read thermometers. You close it, and it shuts off. Pretty simple. But there are, again you know, a few different buttons and things that you can get used to and you can work. Another company makes a talking thermometer and it is a very popular and very high quality, known for their quality when it comes to thermometers, and that is Thermalworks. Thermalworks makes a talking thermometer with one button and that is it. This one button turns it on it will turn it off, and um, it will it'll automatically just start speaking certain temps at certain times, um, especially if it, it uh, picks up any changes of temp, or when you, st when you stick it in your meat, it'll start reading, but if, if you get to a point where it's not saying anything and you want to know right then what that temp is, just simply hit the button. 74.1 degrees. And actually, I didn't hit the button yet. It, it registered the temp and it spoke it to me. Now, if I want to hear that again, just hit the button. 73 degrees Fahrenheit. 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So obviously, it's getting the ambient temp right now. And then to shut it off, just hold the button until it beeps twice. And then it, it shuts off. And so these talking thermometers are really great. When you've got something on the grill, uh, maybe you've got a cook that you've timed out really well, but you'd like to be able to step it up just a little bit and really know the temperature. You want to know that steak is medium rare or, or uh, you know, medium, you know, 130 to 140, 145. You want to know that that pork is at 140 to 145 or your chicken is at 160, and you just want to test it every once in a while. These thermometers are great. This Thermoworks is 30 bucks. I mean, it, it's extremely reasonable. It's a little bit cheaper than the Ryzen thermometer. It works great, and I highly recommend them. So these are a couple of great options for those who are blind or visually impaired because a little bit bigger screen um, to be able to read an instant read thermometer that don't want to leave something out on the grill. So our next option is going to be a Bluetooth option and it's called the iGrill. The iGrill was something from iDevices and then Weber got involved and they took it, bought it from them, took it over, and it, is, it connects to your wireless device or computer via Bluetooth. Uh, it comes with a magnetic stand um, that it just kind of clips into and it will um, you know, stick to the side of a grill if you want um, or just sit on a table or anything like that. Um, and so it's got a neat little stand to it. And this has an option for four different probes. Now what I have 
connected to it right now is what they call an ambient probe. This is to keep track of your pit temp. So this would sit on your grate inside your grill and keep track of how hot the temperature is inside the grill. So what is your cooking your food at? And then there are three other ports where you can connect meat probes. And the meat probes will connect and you'll stick them those probes into the meat that you're cooking and you'll be able to monitor and watch your meat as it's cooking and follow and keep track of the temperature as it goes up. So and you can set alarms when it gets to a certain temp. Uh, it will alert you that your meat is at that particular temp, whether it's ready and it's time to pull it off, or maybe you're doing something like a reverse sear on a steak and you want to bring it to 120 um, and then pull it off and get your temperature on your grill hotter and then sear it on both sides. Um, and so you can you know, set that to 120 to let you know your steak is at that point. But what I've got is my phone and Speech on. voiceover. All right, so this is reading 71 degrees. Current temperature is 72 Fahrenheit. Oh, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Current temperature is 71 Fahrenheit. All right, so go bouncing back and forth between 71 and 72. So I've got the Weber app Pro open. Current temperature is 72 Fahrenheit. 72. Pro two, no probe connected. So no probe is in two. Pro three, no probe connected. No probe in three. Pro four, no probe connected and no probe in four. But if you connect them, then you could monitor that. You can see in real time, it's connected to my phone via Bluetooth. So this is a great option. And this comes with a couple of probes and then you can buy more probes to it. You can buy the ambient probe to go with it as well. And it, the app is accessible uh, on the iPhone uh, or iPad um, by Weber iGrill app. Uh, so it is accessible for the blind to use. And as I said, it comes with two probes at least. It's the iGrill 2. They have an iPro, I, iGrill Mini um, also that you can get. Uh, and so they, they've got a couple of options. But the iGrill 2 with two probes runs around $100. Uh, but again, it's Bluetooth. So you don't have to go out and check the meat. You can be in your home as long as you're within a certain range of this via Bluetooth. You're able to monitor and keep track of your pit if you have the ambient probe and uh, your meats, uh, up three meats with the ambient, so four probes total. Or if you're just keeping track of your meats, you can have up to four meat probes um, keeping track of temperature, whether it's burgers, steak, pork, pork chops, pork steaks, brisket, whatever it is uh, you've got going on your grill, you're able to keep track of those meats with this. The the downside to this is the Bluetooth. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. If I walk out of range, come back into range, it, it connects for me. It's been wonderful with that. But if I walk out of range, I do have to come back in range. I can't just you know get too far away from the grill. And, and especially if you have a two-story, you're up on one story and your grill's down on the first level, um, you know, sometimes the Bluetooth range doesn't work well there. And so you really got to figure out, you know, what options you have, uh, how well it's going to work for you, how far away you'll be it from your grill when you want to check your temperature. If you uh, have a basement downstairs and you're down there, it, you know, depending on how far away you are from the grill, it may or may not connect via Bluetooth. Uh, and so that's just something that you, you just have to check and see. But if it works, uh, if it connects, it works great. And it's that mid-range option as far as price goes. So that's, that's another great option, a Bluetooth option for keeping track of the temperature at your grill. One more thing I do want to say about the iGrill. This screen is one that you difficult to feel any buttons on the screen, but you can pretty much line up in the middle. There is a power button, and that's generally the only one that you need to worry about is that power button. And you can press and you can hold, um, and you can feel it when you press it, you know, turning it on and off. But just to feel the screen, you, you really can't feel um, the buttons on the screen. Uh, and so if you're, you're completely blind and you have no usable vision like me, um, you can't feel anything, but it's still something you can find the button if as you're pressing, uh, 
uh, right there in the center towards the bottom, you can find that power button to turn it on and off rather easily. Um, so don't let that you know keep you from it. It's something that um, you can you get used to. So our last option is going to be one of the top of the line options, and that's going to be the Flame Boss controller. This is the Flame Boss 300 Wi-Fi. Now they do have a 400 that's come out, and now even a 500 that is just now being released. Uh, with some great options. The 300 is, is a wonderful controller and we're going to go over some of the great options for that Wi-Fi controller. The, it, it connects to your Wi-Fi but one of the great things about Flame Boss is first of all they took the time to uh, to make sure that their app was accessible and in fact while they were developing the app what they did is they actually got a hold uh, and, and made a skill for the Amazon Alexa so that um, you could control and monitor your tent just simply by asking your Amazon Alexa what the Flame Boss temp was, was at. And you can even change the set temp through that skill on the Amazon Alexa. Uh, but uh, the, the Flame Boss connects to your Wi-Fi and uh, it, it goes through uh, your Wi-Fi, then through your phone, is able to monitor and keep track of your, your temp. And because the, uh, it goes through the internet and through your Wi-Fi, you don't have to be home or within range it, once you connect through your phone to your account through Flame Boss. And what's awesome about that is you can set a cook in the morning and you can leave and go to work, which is what a lot of people do, and then they can monitor at work their cook. They can keep track of their pit temp, their meat temp, if they're doing a pork butt or a brisket or, or you know some long, low and slow cook, uh, or overnight they can set it and they can monitor it from inside um, and they can change all the parameters of that cook simply on their, uh, on their mobile device. But Flame Boss made sure that their app was accessible. So we'll go to Flame Boss. Flame Boss, manuals, button, home, view, control, heading, connected, control, 20,000. And what was awesome is apparently the, um, the servers for Flame Boss were down, which in times past that would mean that we can't monitor it. Um, and while you could look at the controller itself, we wouldn't be able to monitor it through our phones. However, what they've done through some latest updates is they've added the the capability of a direct connect when that happens. So um, I've directly connected it to my phone and so I can still monitor my my temp. So 70 degrees. I've set it set to 350 was the last grilling. We did some pork chops this past week and uh, and so that was the temp that we were grilling at. But right now we've got the pit probe, the ambient probe connected to that, and it says it's 70 degrees in here. So, um, you know, from 70 to 72 degrees, you know, we've got a couple of variations um, in the probes that we've said, but they're all pretty much right there in the same range. Uh, but connected to Wi-Fi, you know, you can be out in the yard, in the front yard as opposed to the back. You can be upstairs, downstairs. You know, as long as your phone has a signal, you can keep track and monitor your cook. And what's awesome about the Flame Boss is that it's so much more than just the probes that connect to your cook. It also has a fan unit that connects, whether it's a, um, a Camadoo style like the Big Green Egg that I'm using. You know, it has a fan that connects to the bottom just under the fire so it can control the airflow and it can make your fire hotter or it can drop the temp and make it cooler and it'll monitor and control the heat in your grill. You get the universal model and it comes with another connection uh, for that fan so that you can connect to other types of grills, charcoal grills, where you can keep track, monitor, and control the fire in your charcoal grills, whether it's certain Weber type grills um, or other types of uh, charcoal grills that, uh, that Flame Boss uh, allows you to control. Uh, and so they have that capability. And so that runs, uh, um, uh, the 400 was running around $230. Uh, 
uh, and which will give you one meat probe. Um, the 300 and I think probably now the 500, you're looking at around $350, but it has the capability of being able to monitor up to four, uh, rather three meat probes, and then fourthly, the pit probe. And so you can keep track of a lot of meat and your pit uh, and control it as well. So another great option that, you know, businesses such as iGrill, such as Thermalworks and Flame Boss, who came out with these products, not specific for the visually impaired, but they made their products accessible to the visually impaired. So big shout out to them. Appreciate the work that they do uh, and, uh, and just their willingness to make sure that it works and is accessible for those with visual impairments to be able to go out and enjoy the same activities that uh, our sighted counterparts are able to enjoy as well. So, so those are the, the thermometers that I recommend that I would say go out, check out, uh, and, and, and see you know, what's going to work best for you in your situation. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some things to think about, some options that maybe you weren't aware of, and I hope you'll take advantage of these tools for accessibility and get out and enjoy this grilling season. And as always, remember, if you're looking, you ain't cooking.